and Duchesses of Dirtumberland. <laughs> you join me on a wet, miserable last day in February. It's not a leap year. Today, we're going to talk about my Zip 303 Firecrest. Let's check them out. who have been subscribed to my channel for a while now will know that I was an incredibly lucky winner of the Grinduro raffle which meant not only did I win this amazing chamois Hagar but I also won these Zip 303 Firecrest wheels so I've been running these wheels now for just over a year put them through a lot of abuse in 2021 and uh, yeah, what we're going to do today is talk through some of the pros and cons of this wheel set. Um, mainly the pros, incredibly light, incredibly strong. They um, set up tubelessly fantastically well. Um, literally hand pump every time. I very rarely ever have to use the, um, not the hand pump, the track pump. Very rarely ever have to use the boost, the air boost on them. Um, Cons, hookless rim. So that means that not every tire is going to be compatible. Um, you may have seen just before Christmas, I tried to set up some Hutchinson Toros on them, and um, yeah, they settled in for a bit, but kept getting air leakage from them and kept finding sealant coming out through the side walls um, where the bead was. Sorry, um, and it just yeah, they just weren't bedding in properly. So I swapped those over to my WTB wheel set. They do set up tubeless very easy, but you are. I would say kind of restricted on what tyres you can fit to it. Um, the rim tape comes with its own zip rim tape, their own zip um, valves, which are great. Had no problems with those. Um, other cons, so rear hubs. The bearings on this I had to replace towards the end of autumn last year. Um, yeah, they, they just went very quickly. Now, as I said, they had had probably around about four and a half thousand kilometres, maybe five thousand kilometres on them. But um, I've got other wheel sets which have been going for sort of 13, 15,000 kilometres. So, yeah, wasn't massively chuffed about that. I think because they'd been through winter 2020 to 21, they'd seen a lot of abuse, a lot of mud, a lot of clart, occasional bit of sand. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie and say that they've been trekked kindly. They have had a lot of abuse. Front bearings have held up really well so far. No problems there. Aerodynamics wise, yeah, they, I mean, they are super light, super fast. They pick up really easily um, and surprisingly comfortable. Um, I've been running my WTB wheel set recently, which is an alloy wheel set um, with the Hutchinson Toro CXs on there, which are 47 mil. These Ramblers are 50 mil. Um, and these wheels just seem to take all the bumps and hits in their stride. They've been down red runs at Nantiarian. They've been through some really rough local trails. Um, and yeah, they just handle everything. They've been really, really stable and secure. Uh, occasionally fill them in the crosswind, particularly on the front. Um, but that's, I mean, it's going really gusty for that. Other than that, really pleased with them and uh, I would recommend them. I would recommend them. I'm not too sure about the bearings. I might look into some third party bearings for the rear um, in the long term. At the moment I've put the SRAM ones in, um, which are the recommended ones, but we will see. I mean, you have to agree, they do look absolutely fucking phenomenal. Excuse my French. Left fucking phenomenal on this bike. They just completely set it off beautifully. Well, with that said, let's get some more riding in.